today, I want to talk to you a little bit about foam. Foam, when you're extracting a carpet, builds up in your recovery tank, and how to avoid that, why it happens, and best practice to not get foam. Basically, if you get a lot of foam in your recovery tank, and your tank fills up, that foam is gonna migrate and get down into the vac motor, and you can uh, ruin a vac motor with all the foam and the dirt that's in the foam, and so you really wanna avoid foam. So how does foam happen? Uh, there's two reasons. A lot of times, in a clean water tank, people put their extraction cleaner. Or more commonly, they use it, make a mistake and use a product called shampoo. If you put shampoo in a carpet extractor, it will definitely foam up, and as you extract the carpet, you will get a ton of foam. Shampoos were designed really to be used with a swing machine, and you kind of build up a little head of foam, scrub the carpet, then when that dries, you would vacuum it off. Kind of called encapsulation. Encapsulation products will always cause a lot of foam. Um, the mistake is when people put chemical into the tank and spray on the carpet and they use the wrong chemical, you'll get a lot of foam. So if somebody's been you shampooing a carpet for years and now you come along and extract it, you're gonna get a lot of foam. Um, what you do in that case is you take a uh, defoamer product. This particular product is, um, read the container, it's 2.5 ounces per five gallons. So this is a nine gallon machine, so you'd put about five ounces in this machine. Um, in the dirty tank, you would never put defoamer in the clean water tank because you would ruin your carpet. Uh, you definitely don't want this chemical on the carpet. So it goes in the recovery tank. Another way you can do it is um, you can actually pour it into the front of the machine. If you turn the vac motor on, you can actually, and if maybe if you're using a wand style extractor, you can pour it right into the hose. So the whole hose gets covered with the defoamer product, and the foam never makes it to the tank. Um, so defoam is very important. Um, you will definitely come across carpets that have been shampooed for years, and now you go to extract it, you get crazy foam, defoam is the answer. The best practice when cleaning carpets is to never put soap into your clean water tank. You always wanna put a rinse product in the clean water tank. You want to have a pump up sprayer with your cleaner in it, and you want to spray the carpet fully. Heavy spots, you juice a little more. You wait five to seven minutes, and you put the product called Extraction Rinse into the tank. This is actually one ounce per gallon for this product. So I, I would put nine ounces into this tank. And as I extract now, the heavy duty pre-spray has done its job. It's emulsified the dirt. The extraction rinse will help neutralize that product as it comes, uh, sucks back up into the machine. And extraction cleaners are low foam products to start with. And when you add the extraction rinse to it, that also helps to keep down the foam. So uh, best practice is to never put soap in a machine, use heavy duty pre-spray on the carpet, extraction rinse in the tank, and you should not get foam. If you do see foam, you need to use a defoamer product in this tank to save your vac motor.